name is Pandora Hopkins, and the film you're about to see is a documentary meant to expose the truth about what happened to my great aunt, a woman who disappeared from a small school about 70 years ago. Legend has it that there was sacrifices there. I definitely believe, I know it's true. Um, actually, uh, I know the whole story. I don't really know a whole lot about it. I just know that it was closed before I was born. Well, I'm saying he had red eyes and he was sitting there looking at me. I mean, looking at me with his red eyes. And I wouldn't be surprised if that stool was haunted by the devil because that has his work written all over it with all kinds of nasty spirits trying to bring me down. Satanic Blood. symbols on the wall, bunch of scary stuff. I'll never go back again, but I'll tell you what. Look at these. Good basketball team. Yeah, this one goes back to 1945. <laughs> so, the story my grandma told me is that her sister moved away to be a drama teacher and, like, moved really far from home. And no one ever heard from her again. Like, she lived here for, I think it was like a year, and then just vanished. My wife, she, uh, she died here a few years ago. She was always one of these people that believed in ghost stories. But once you lose something that precious, you really start questioning, you know, is there a greater evil? Is there, you know, something bigger? You really don't know. If there's been so much bad stuff happened to you here, why have you stayed? I don't know. There's just there's just, just something pulling me back here. I, I, I just don't know. But, I gotta get back to work, all right? So you can just put, put the camera down. No more questions. The last time someone went to poking their nose around where it didn't belong, they got their nose cut off. A lot of people have reported hearing strange voices here, occasionally seeing an apparition. Personally, I don't believe any of it. But with a building that looks like this, that has this sort of history, people will always talk. There is always going to be some legend or another. Now, some people think it's poppycock, but I'll tell you, I, I've been in there late at night and it's no joke. There's, there's definitely some spirits in there. I was eating spaghetti one night yeah. with my family and you know, I'm like chewing and everything's fine. And I sneezed. And you know how I sneeze, where it's just like, <laughs> like crazy. And I sneezed, and like noodles were like flying everywhere, all over the table. It was, it was pretty bad. Wow. <laughs> and uh, that's why I don't eat spaghetti anymore. <laughs> I don't think I'll eat spaghetti anymore either. Go like, away, Dale. Get out of here. Dude, turn off the camera. Go, go, stop it. Took my little brother Jim Bob in there. And Scared him so bad he went to bed for a year. He wasn't the same afterwards. Hey, man. Hey. Supposedly, this is in the stories as well as letters that she wrote my grandmother. She was very much in love with a lawyer at the time. Uh, she hoped to marry him, hoped to have children with him, settle down with him. Uh, he was the last person to ever see her. Um, some people have suspected him, but others have simply said that he had nothing to do with it and she vanished. He was supposedly completely torn up by this occurrence, that he was the last person that ever saw her. Supposedly, he never spoke again, or he could have just moved out of town. There's no records for it. It all goes back to what you'll believe. I also heard she was killed and buried in that school. No one ever found her body though. It's really not, sh not really clear what happened to her. What this documentary is setting out to prove though is that it's not haunted. It's not an evil building. This was simply a tragic, tragic accident 
that happened to this woman. Something that she was never given justice for. Okay, we're now down in the downstairs corridor. Now from what the locals have all told me, they actually sc shut the school building down in the 70s because there were so many weird occurrences. They finally decided that it, they were just done. No, 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 no. I, I, don't, I don't feel right about this. Something feels something feel wrong. Oh, you're scared now. Really? It wasn't what you were saying earlier this morning. <laughs> Obviously. What? Are you scared? No, it's not that scared. Do you believe in ghosts now? No, I don't believe in ghosts. Things just, they, they feel strange. They, they... Whatever, man. <laughs> it's not like the boogeyman's here. It's not like he's going, whoa, uh, what is going on? Whoa. What the hell opened us? Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I'm out of here. No, just know. wait a second. There's there's something in this one. We're here in the auditorium now, the last place she was ever seen, uh, last seen by the man that she hoped to marry one day. Many suspect that he might have had a hand in whatever happened to her, but I don't think that's the important part. I think the important part is to remember her as she was, a woman that my grandmother said loved theater, read Shakespeare by the volume, just absolutely. Did you guys, did you hear that? What? Hold on, I'll be right back. The footage you just watched is the last any of us have ever seen of Pandora. She was my dearest friend and I'm always going to miss her. We decided to release what we have with the documentary because I think she would have wanted it that way.